Now that we're back, uh, we're going to look at sharpening our image and also uh, we are going to look at um, um, t doing some um, uh, liquify to our image to actually um, adjust maybe the nose and lips and things like that and make them look a little bit better. Uh, to do this, uh, what we're going to need to do is with liquify is we're going to need to be on the top layer here and we're going to create a composite layer just above this layer, um, above the hair here. So we've got a new composite layer. We are going to be keeping this composite layer. We've pretty much, um, let's just say that we've pretty much completed this. I know we've got a lot more body work to do down here, uh, but in general, um, let's just say we're almost done with this. And um, the, um, the factor is that I'd like to do some liquify to um, enhance the facial features a little bit and also the body. So to do that, I am going to, um, on this layer here, I am the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, um, right click on the layer. Sorry, I was on the image itself and I needed to be just off of it and convert to a smart object. You can do it that way, or you can come up here to filter and then convert for smart filters. Either way, it works fine. Uh, once this is done, you can see right here that this little icon pops up. This tells me it is a um, it has been converted to a um, smart filter. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to filters and liquify. Now the cool thing about liquify is is it has a, a little bit of an AI in here, and it actually will have found the eyes, the lips, and the nose, and the and the face here, and it puts up this uh, face aware liquify option. And if you have multiple people in here, it will actually do multiple faces. And so you will need to select the face that you're working on. Uh, so in this case, it's face number one, and it can be face number two, face three, et cetera. If it depends on how many people are in the image. Um, to work on this, I can work on the eyes first. Um, so if I want, I can work on the eye size. I can make them bigger, smaller, uh, depending on which eye it is. Um, in this case, um, I can make the eyes also smaller a little bit, but I just want to actually give that um, right eye just a bit of a uh, little bit uh, bigger because it's a little smaller than the left eye. So I'm going to up the uh, that um, eye size a little bit. Um, I'm also going to work on the height, just opening up the eye just a slight bit more than it has been, and then also the width. Now I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this a little bit better. Um, because if I overdo it, this is, you know, this is overdoing it right there. So I don't want to overdo this. I just want this to be a nice little bit of a little, little extra amount here. And uh, the eye height is just about right. Um, I'm going to see if uh, I need to turn this down. I uh, may have went overboard with it. There we go. That's nice. So about 17. Uh, eye width. Um, I think the eye width could be just a slight bit more, but not that much. Just a little tiny bit. Eye tilt, I think the tilt is okay, so I'm going to leave it. Uh, eye distance, the distance between the eyes, um, I could push them in a little bit further, closer apart, um, just depending on what you like and what your tastes are, um, is what this comes down to. So I kind of um, like it just about as they really are for her, because uh, I don't think there's much, of, uh, she didn't have that much of a, uh, she has about a normal gap in between her eyes here. Um, her nose, um, you can change the nose height, either longer or shorter. I'm going to shorten her nose a bit because I think she has a fairly long nose and that, a nice uh, kind of Roman nose that she has. I uh, could use just a little bit of shortening. Um, also the width. I'm going to pull her width down because I'd like her nose to be just a slight bit thinner. And I'm sure she would appreciate that um, as far as thinness of nose goes. Um, smile, we can add a little bit of a smile. And in this case, since we don't have much any smile at all, I'm going to add a little bit of a smile just to give it. So this is basically pulling up her cheeks just a bit and the corners of her mouth. So that's a um, nice. Um, I want a little bit more upper lip. So I'm going to pull up the upper lip and just make it a little bit bigger. You can see I can narrow it or make it bigger. So let's give her a little bit of uh, some Botox. Huh? Um, then we can also do the same with the bottom lip. And um, in this case, I might want to just uh, hang it back just a slight bit. Mouth width. I would like her lips just a little, her mouth just a little narrower. Not a lot, but a little bit. Uh, mouth height. 
Um, I just like it to be a little bit taller, which is nice. And then her face shape. This is her forehead. I can make it bigger or smaller. Um, chin height. You can either move it up or down. I'm going to go in just a slight bit, just up, just a little tiny bit. Jawline. You can either expand the jawline or narrow the jawline. In her case, I'd like to narrow it just a little bit, not a lot. And facial width. Um, do I want her face to be more narrow or wider? In this case, just a little bit uh, narrower is nice. And I've got that done. Once I have this uh, completed, I'm going to come over here to the liquify tool. There are a few things that I'd like to do with her face here. I'm going to adjust her cheek, um, her cheek just a little in here and just push this in. And I'm also going to push in here just a slight bit. And then um, her hair here, maybe just a little push out and a little push out here just to give it a little bit more shape. Once I've got that done, I'm going to come down here to her body. Now, the body is a, um, it depends on uh, what you want, uh, you know, what type of uh, body the per person has. And um, what I'd like to do is I just like to, whoop, ha, we got some, uh, really got into those armpits there. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to just um, give her a, um, uh, I'd like to uh, shrink her just a little bit, um, get, push her tummy in a little bit. Um, those are some typical things that I'll do uh, for most models. For example, I'm just going to make this much bigger here and just give her a little bit of a tummy tuck, just pushing on her stomach just a little bit here uh, to make her a little bit more narrow. And then also I'm going to push up on the breast here. Just like this, I might push in. Depends on if you want to uh, increase or decrease. I also would like this to be in, uh, just a little closer to her, uh, the um, in here. Um, there's also this little bump right back here on the back, on the back of her, um, where there's just a little um, push out from her dress. I'm just gonna push that back in. I'm gonna come down here to her hips and work on her hips just a slight bit. Just a little push in here. A little uh, push in on the rump. There we go. And a little bit more fix on the, on the tummy tuck there. And if I need to, I can also adjust arms here. I like to just make that a little bit um, uh, less and here. And might also just widen the arm just a slight bit right in there. And once I have this the way I like it, uh, I can consider this part of uh, done. I'm just going to hit OK here. There is an option here in here to do that, uh, but I'm just going to fit it on the screen here and turn this on and off for you. So here is the change. And uh, once I have that, uh, that completed, um, the next st uh, step is to actually do my sharpening. What, since I've already got a, um, a um, layer here that is uh, uh, ha has been created for uh, the purposes of, um, uh, of working on this liquify, I could add a sharpening tool to this if I'm overall sharpening. If I'm not overall sharpening and I'm just going to sharpen some facial features, maybe the hair, uh, some other features, I may not want to do this overall because I may want to use this mask. And if I do that, I may get rid of some of the liquify. So what I'm going to have to do in this case tonight is actually to create another copy, which is really, really sucks because that's just really up in the amount of, um, of um, information down here um, that I'm actually going to be saving. But I'm going to convert this back over to a smart object. Once I have it converted over to a smart object, I'm going to go to uh, filter. And then I'm going to come down here to uh, uh, sharpen. And I showed a couple of different sharpenings in the class. I showed you smart sharpening, unsharp mask, and also high pass. Uh, here I'm going to just do um, the uh, sharpening tool here and smart sharpen. Um, 
this way I have good control over the eyes and stuff. And I'm going to uh, drag my controller over here. It went over on my other screen there. So I'm going to drag this down. And I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to come in here nice and tight. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for if it is if it's over sharpening. This has already been pulled up. I've been working in here with something else. Um, I can then come in here. Uh, this was the last one that I did. If this works for me, I could keep on uh, keep it here, or I could increase or decrease the amount of sharpening. I think it's a little too much at the moment, so I'm going to pull it down just a slight bit, maybe pull down the radius a bit, and that's a starting to look much nicer here. I don't want to get any um, haloing effects going on, and um, I'm not seeing a lot of haloing yet. Um, I, I'm going to reduce the noise, uh, work with reducing the noise a little bit here, and that looks nice. Um, you can also change, like uh, this is Gaussian blur. It's going to look a little different than uh, lens blur. And if you were working with uh, motion blur, then that would be something that you could uh, 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 work with. But I'm going to leave it on lens blur. That seems to be really nice there. You can also work with the shadows and the highlights here and work with uh, creating... Uh, you know, adjusting these uh, for the shadows and highlights. Um, and these can be really helpful in actually creating your sharpness much better. So we're going to hit OK when, uh, once I'm done and you got that overall sharpness. It's going to apply that. Once it's done applying this, the next thing I'm going to do is I just want to sharpen certain areas. I don't want overall sharpening. Uh, we don't want to sharpen the skin anymore. The skin's been, uh, you know, we've softened it. We got it to just where we wanted it. I really don't want it sharper looking, so I need to add a, use the mask here. So I'm going to use this mask, and I'm going to um, re, uh, invert it so that uh, it is black, takes away that sharpness. And then I'm going to zoom in here really tight, grab a brush, and I'm going to start brushing in that sharpness. And as you can see, it's actually started pulling it in here. And um, I'm going to go with a little smaller brush here for this eye. And I'm going to also hit her eyebrows. Make sure that I can see that stuff really nicely. And you can see how that's really starting to bring out those eyes. I'm also going to do this on the lips here. So I get those nice lips and the nice texture in the lips. And then I'm going to zoom out just a slight bit here so I can see the entire um, hair here. I've got this at 18%. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up to about 56% uh, and just start going over the hair here. And... This way, I get a nice, nice um, sharpening of the hair very quickly. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this uh, because I already know that I want it sharpened pretty, pretty much a lot. And we're just going to sharpen the hair a lot here and get this down here. Now, you might also want to consider, and this is just a consideration, you might also do cloth and things like that to add more sharpness to the cloth. Uh, and uh, things like that. Um, it just depends on what you're looking for as far as the dynamic goes in your image and, and, uh, and what you want to have more texture, more sharpening in. But hair, uh, facial features are typically uh, what I do most of the time. Might also do a little underneath the nose. So I might bring this back in and just go right here underneath the nose and do the nostrils just a slight bit uh, when I do um, sharpening. So, but I want to be careful of that because if I do overdo it, I'll sometimes get that texture back in the skin that I don't want. And as you can see, we've got nice soft skin and we've got really sharp hair here. So uh, we've got a nice image all together. Uh, this is uh, completed. And uh, well, I would want to finish the body, but uh, otherwise, and I might do some uh, dodging and burning and um, to the hair and also to her body here a little bit. Uh, but um, overall, I pretty much got this the way that I want it. I'm going to do a save, um, make sure that I save my file. And um, I have completed my image the way that I want it to be for uh, this. And this is a great way, uh, just some good stuff to show you for actually uh, working on your image. The next video is going to be just the opposite. I'm, I'm going to have a different image here. We're going to do some HDR toning. I'm just going to show you how HDR toning works. Uh, to uh, create uh, more texture and surface in your image.